few years ago I made a video about Russian bombers loitering at the edge of British airspace, necessitating the RAF setting up Typhoon jet fighters on regular occasions to shoo them away. It's something the old Soviet Union used to do all the time, and something Vladimir Putin ordered restarted. It allows Russia to test British response times and generally keep us on our toes while Russia flexes its military might in a rather obvious and provocative way. However, none of these Russian bombers ever actually violated British airspace, which would constitute an act of war and enable RAF aircraft to legally shoot them down. Instead, threats are traded at the edge of UK airspace and the Russian aircraft always back down. But what if I was to tell you that not all Russian aircraft do actually comply, and up till 2021, specially equipped Russian Air Force reconnaissance aircraft regularly overflew British towns and cities, gathering data? Seems a bit unlikely, but it is completely true, and Russia could do this because it was a member of Open Skies, an international agreement dating from 1992 that became effective in 2002 a treaty of 35 nations that would permit unarmed aerial surveillance flights over the entire territory of its partners. The idea behind Open Skies is to allow countries to openly surveil each other to gather information about military forces and activities that are of concern to member nations. The main idea about the agreement is to prevent misunderstandings between nations that could end in conflict. The idea was actually proposed way back in 1955 by the Soviet Union, but rejected by US President Dwight D. Eisenhower until it was resurrected by then US President George H.W. Bush in 1989. The United States withdrew from open skies on the 22nd of November 2020, followed by Russia in December 2021. So Russian aircraft no longer conduct surveillance over flights of the UK or US. The Russian Air Force aircraft that was used most often was the Antonov An-30. This old Soviet design first entered service in 1968, with the last being built in 1980. It was specifically designed for aerial mapping and has a crew of seven and a range without refueling of 1,600 miles. It has positions for five cameras, along with an array of other surveillance equipment, and is powered by a pair of turboprops. The appearance of this obviously Russian Air Force plane loitering over English towns often made the press, very few realizing that its actions were actually completely legal, and Britain was making spy flights over Russia at the same time under open skies. Between 2002 and 2021, the Russian Air Force made 20 such reconnaissance flights over the UK, while the RAF made 26 over Russia. Ukraine also made three overflights over the UK, also using an Antonov AN-30. Between 2008 and the end of Russian overflights, the Russian Air Force also often deployed a Tupolev Tu-154MON, a three-engined, medium-range, narrow-bodied airliner dating from the mid-1960s. All images and data gathered during these overflights are freely available to any state party upon request, the idea being that the entire reconnaissance missions and the data gathered are open and transparent and of course fulfilling the overall idea of open skies which is to prevent conflict thanks for watching please subscribe and share and also visit my audiobook channel war stories with mark felton you can also help to support both of my channels at paypal and patreon details in the description box below